If you're going to have red hair, you would need a genetic change in both of your copies of that gene and you would have more red pigment and that would allow you to have red hair. And we usually call that recessive inheritance when you have two copies of a gene that have a genetic change in both copies. What I learned and was a little bit surprised in kind of researching this is that there's probably at least eight genes that contribute to having red hair. Um, it's not as straightforward oh. as just this one uh, MC1R no gene. And there's a lot more factors than we thought about whether or not you have red hair. And while most people with red hair will have genetic changes in both copies of this MC1R gene, a lot of the time if you have two changes in that gene, you're not actually a redhead, you're usually blonde. So there are probably other genetic factors that are contributing and kind of compound with one another. And so it's actually a lot more complicated than we used to think it is.